Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Soulful Hunter podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Mack. Through this podcast, I'm on a mission to transform lives through primal adventure and to spread my mission of mentorship is conservation. This podcast is powered by Washington Backcountry, a resource for all hunters, both new and old. To find out more about Washington Backcountry, go to wabackcountry.com or search for Washington Backcountry on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. The Soulful Hunter podcast is also proudly presented by TNK Hunting Gear. If you haven't heard about TNK, then it's about time you do. I've been using TNK gear out in the field and on hunts and have fallen in love with their stuff. TNK is veteran owned and 100% made in America using only American made products. All their gear is covered under a lifetime warranty with no questions asked. If it breaks or fails, they will fix it or replace it for free. TNK is your resource for bino harnesses, bow slings, and a lot more amazing gear. For more information about TNK hunting gear, go to tnkhunting.com or search for them on Facebook and Instagram. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Freedom on and stay soulful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Soulful Hunter Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Mack. Today, I am joined by two amazing people. We've got Dennis Stokes, who coming back for another round on the Soulful Hunter Podcast, and also joined by Kate Small, who is a fantastic individual and a wonderful human being based out of the state of Idaho and everything that she does for the hunting community. Uh, she also was able to fill a once-in-a-lifetime tag in the state of Idaho for a giant moose, and we're going to hear a little bit about that. But we're diving in. We got a great surprise for all you listeners. You know that if you've been paying attention to this podcast over the last, uh, I don't know, say six months or so since we had Dennis on, you've found that I have really come to enjoy the initial ascent backpacks. And I've used them. I've packed out meat in them. I've, I've put a lot of miles under my my 4K. And I've really fallen in love with it. And Dennis has a huge announcement that we're going to be talking about on this podcast. And that's also why we have Kate on here. So, Dennis, good to see you. Kate, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks hey, Johnny. So, yeah, uh, Thanks for having us. Yeah, my pleasure. So, Kate, just give the listeners a little background on who you are, where you're from, and then why you are connected with Dennis and Initial Ascent and why you're on this podcast. Um, well, like you said, I'm Kate. Um, I'm a registered nurse. Lives in, I live in Idaho, and I do a lot of backcountry hunting, backpacking. Um, I'm also on the board for the Foundation for Wildlife Management, which is a wolf management program here in Idaho. Helps save some ungulates I along the way. I uh, love it. <laughs> But I am here on the podcast with Dennis. Um, I feel like he should introduce the big, the big product, and then I can talk about it a little bit. Bef- um, before we get into Dennis, because I know he <laughs> he's itching to share. How long have you been hunting, Kate? Um, I actually got a late start in life. I didn't start till I was nineteen. I, my family didn't hunt, um, but when I was nineteen, my mom married my stepdad, and he was a big hunter, and he got me into it. And then it's just evolved from there, and I just fell in love with it. That is so awesome. It is so great to hear uh, women being empowered and choosing a life of the outdoors and really making an impact. My wife, she just took her hunter safety and passed about a month ago. And so this oh. next year, I'm really excited about getting her out. We have three small children, so we're going to have to figure out how we can incorporate either the kids in it or have someone watch them. But <laughs> really excited to get him out. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. And then Dennis needs no inter- introduction. He's uh, been been a regular on this podcast now. Seems like once a quarter we're going to just get you on. We've had you on talking about the brotherhood of the traveling pack. And oh. surprise, surprise, we might be introducing a new adventure here coming up. So, Dennis, what does Initial Ascent have in store for everyone? Okay, so uh, coming up here on Sunday or Monday, hopefully Sunday, we are going to release the Invictus female frame. And so for years now, uh, ever since we started, um, ever since we released our packs and and it was on the foundation of the Integris frame, um, we've known that there's a real need for... um, for to have a pack that specifically fits uh women and 
you know, ever since we launched there at the Western Hunt Expo in Salt Lake City back in 2018, we've had guys and gals come into our booth. And, uh, you know, we've just kind of observed over the, the last few years that the the ladies come in, they love the the comfort of the hip belt, the comfort of the shoulder straps. But the the problem was, was the frame was just a little bit too big. It's not shaped quite uh, properly for uh, a lady's frame. And so we just decided, you know what, we're going to do this. And we had a couple of, uh, couple of gals, um, that were kind of on the forefront of our minds as far as, you know, why we were building this. Kate was, was one of those. She doesn't know this, but she was actually <laughs> one of those. Um, because when I think it was our first year and it was at the Boise show, um, I mean, we had only been out on the market a couple of months and, uh, Kate and Justin stopped by and we struck up a conversation and just, it seems like we, we talked throughout that weekend for hours. It seems like just swapping stories and, and those guys actually were, were kind enough to try on one of our packs and, and, you know, it fit Justin really good. And I could see the look in his eye that, you know, he, he thought he had something special and then we put it on Kate and, you know, the same thing, but it just, you could also see the look in her eye that it just was a little big. It just didn't quite fit. Everything else seemed to be okay, but that just didn't quite fit. And so, you know, that was one of the many instances that we had where we just couldn't fulfill, we couldn't fill that void. And there is a void there, no matter what anybody says, there's a void there. And so that's what we're doing with the Invictus frame and just a little history on that name. Um, that actually means uh, unconquerable, uh, undefeated. Uh, you've heard of a poem that was written back in the 1800s uh, called Invictus. And uh, so we, uh, we thought that was a really cool name. And for these ladies out there, you know, that's, that's the fastest growing demographic in Western hunting and in hunting in general. Um, the the ladies are just they're they're attacking this thing by storm and it's just awesome to see and so we feel like there's a real need there and uh so so we created this frame and and kate was kind enough to uh to test it out this fall and uh it was pretty cool she got to pack out a uh, a pretty cool <laughs> Idaho Shires moose. That is so awesome. I just want to jump in here real quick because before I have a couple questions for Katie. So I used to sell backpacks at REI. And uh, so I'm very familiar with them. I'm very comfortable of of identifying the pros and cons of a pack and all that. And and ladies packs was always very interesting. People would would come to me and, and be like, why do, why do we need to have a, a ladies pack? And, you know, all these different things. And, you know, one size does not fit all. And, no. <laughs> and, in, and like you said, Dennis, women, the, um, the women demographic is the highest and fastest growing demographic in hunting. And so if hunters or not hunters, uh, hunting companies don't actually identify this. I know Sitka, uh, for all the love or hate that people have for them, their female clothing, they did a good job tailoring it to a woman's body. And so it makes, it's more inviting for the community to get them more involved. So it's really nice to hear that you guys are specifically tailoring your frame to a female because your packs by themselves are awesome. Kate, what type of backpack did you use previous to trying out this, the, the female version? Um, so I used in a burly stock pack, they're great packs, but they're made for a six foot man and that I am not, I'm five one and I'm pretty petite. So, <laughs> um, I used it and, um, you know, I, I made it work cause I had to, and that's, that's just how the market is. It's geared towards men, which is fine. Um, but with this new pack, I am blown away. It's just, I'm so excited about it. It's phenomenal. Um, with a pack that's not made for me, um, it, the frame's giant. So I have to hoist up the hip belt, 
snap it on, then the shoulder pads are probably five or six inches above my shoulder. So there's no, <laughs> nothing touching, no contact right there. And when I carry out a heavy pack and I, I've ca I carried out a bear, a couple bears, you know, every time you're packing out, you have a heavy pack. I take a step, the weight shifts, the whole frame and bag shifts, and then I shift and I'm on the ground with that pack. Yeah. And it, it just, it's crazy. And that now there's this frame and pack that's molded for my body. And it, at every point of contact you want, I take a step, the frame just flexes with me, doesn't move. It stays stationary to my body. And I, I haven't, fallen once so, it's so th that is so cool to hear so i but prepping for this podcast today i was telling my wife who what what i mentioned earlier she just passed her hunter safety i was like hey babe i'm having an initial scent on and we're going to be talking about their new pack that they're releasing for women and she was like oh that's cool why do you have to have a new pack for for females and i <laughs> and i was like oh you'll find out you know yeah, and the whole point of what you're saying is if a pack shifts on you, especially when it's super heavy, you're more likely to twist an ankle. You're more likely to fall over and a lot of other dangerous things, especially if you're packing out at night and you have to watch your steps and Absolutely. You're, you know, you're just, you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable and a not safe situation. Yeah. And the weight distribution is wrong. So you can hurt your back, hurt your shoulders, hurt your knees. And so with this, it's honestly a game changer and it's for your own safety, really. If you're a female, you need a pack that fits you. Yeah, I totally agree. Who wants to be walking around in the woods with a pair of shoes that are way too big for you? It, exactly. And that's really what it is. When you think about it, packs are one of the most important pieces of gear you can have. And if you have one that doesn't fit you, you're, I mean, you can make it work, but it's going to be a lot harder. And this pack fits me so well you know, you can't even tell how much weight you have on your back. And that with my other packs, I've been like, oh, this is heavy. Uh, this pack, I had the moose on my back, which was well over 100 pounds. My husband helped me hoist it on. And I was like, all right, you can let go now. He's like, oh, I haven't been holding on to it. And, it, you know, that over 100 pound pack felt like 60, 70 pounds because it fit me just right. Wow. I don't really have a whole lot more to say than that is extremely impressive. Dennis, is, did you create the frame the exact same, like a mimic to your original frame, but just on a smaller scale? Yeah, we, we did. We did kind of, and using our engineer, Kyle Kinghorn, uh, he's, he's been just awesome. He kind of helped us conceptualize this, this thing. We could describe to him what we want. You know, I, th I was telling him, you know, I think we need to take, an inch here, an inch from here. And then we needed to shrink it, uh, as far as, uh, the width of it, we needed to shrink a little bit. Um, and he was able to pull that off. And one of the hardest things we knew, um, going into this, because I mean, from literally, this has been a multi-year exercise from conception to, or, uh, to, uh, to launch really. And so the, the most, I guess the most important thing that we were concerned about was the actual curve. We knew it couldn't be exactly like the integris frame. It had to be just a little bit different because, you know, ladies are, are shaped a little bit different. Um, if you look at the side profile, you know, of a skeleton, um, they are shaped a little bit different. So we had to take that into account. And, um, we were able to hit that. So, so the first, the first version was not right. It, uh, we over exaggerated that curve and, uh, it just, it didn't fit the testers, um, very well. And so we had to kind of go back to the drawing board and, and kind of re revitalize that, that shape and to what we thought would work. And boy, that second one just, it hit the nail on the head. And so uh, I think we were very blessed and very fortunate to, to have that happen. But, um, you know, then, we, then we've, we've literally had this pack on dozens 
of of ladies and we've actually had you know some some kids a matter of fact i had a i had a kid and uh his his mom and dad over to the shop just a little bit ago and um he was a 13 and a half inch torso length she was a, a let's see what was she she was a 16 and a half inch torso and so i was able to adjust um the same pack i was able to adjust and fit both of them perfectly That's and cool. the look on his face now he's 11 but he, he's kind of a he's 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 a growing boy but the look on his face because he's been packing a lot of critters here the last year or two <laughs> and i saw the pictures i mean this kid's got a boone and crockett cat that he just packed out he's got a boone and crockett bear that he killed this spring wow um killed his first mule deer this year and i mean he's he's killed a lot of critters and he's actually hauled them out using a man-sized pack and you know one that just doesn't fit him uh you know yeah. nothing saying nothing about the pack uh brand at all um i'm a little biased but um <laughs> it just didn't fit him and to see the look on his face when we put 50 pounds uh, on him and to be able to fit him with this frame, it was, it was remarkable. That's and so cool. Yeah, he just glowed. I mean, just biggest smile. And uh, he knew that, you know, this was different. Yeah. So uh, One of the very cool stuff. That is so awesome. One of the questions that I have for you is, Obviously, the frame needs to be shrunk down, and you're talking about the curve of the frame. When I was selling backpacks, I always the the female hip belt was always much different than a typical male backpack uh, hip belt. Are you guys? Did you guys adjust that at all for for this pack? Or my so, biggest fan that, or the biggest thing that I love about your pack is a lumbar pad. So, is all yeah. that kind of staying similar, or are you changing that up as well? Staying really similar, uh, we've changed it just slightly, but actually the hip belt and the shoulder straps themselves um, are the, the, the same ones that, that we're using uh, for everybody else. But we, we have changed the padding just a little bit, and uh, that's, making a, that's making a difference. And, and it's actually, especially the, the hip belt pads themselves, um, we're actually looking at doing that as a rolling change on, on the, the main pack as oh, well. Interesting. It's, just, it's working really well. It's very, very, very comfortable. I've used it since the spring, uh, in this configuration. So, uh, we're kind of kicking that around a little bit, but we did do that for, uh, for the ladies, uh, version. That's good to know. So Kate, I, I know like the hip belts on a lot of the female packs that I've sold back in the day. They always had kind of a what is it, a slant to them. They they were more tilted in at the top rather than like the vertical wrap that you get on a man's backpack. Have you ever experienced anything like that, or like a day hiking pack that had a hip belt like that? And did you notice it? To be honest, I don't think I've ever used a pack that was meant for a female. So <laughs> no, Perfect. I didn't notice it. <laughs> I love it. Um, so what was it like packing out a moose and how, like you said, you had a hundred pounds, but I, I've never been up close to a moose yet in my life. I've, I've killed an elk and I've had, you know, the elk quarters and I, I know what that feels like. What were you carrying in one load with, with your pack? So I had the horned head and cape, um, and it was heavy. <laughs> I can imagine. And we'll, and I, I, I was about four months pregnant too. So Ooh. I had a lot of the weight on my shoulders. And that was another thing this pack was amazing for was it didn't hurt still and it didn't shift it. I was just able to adjust it. So I had a lot of the weight on my shoulders, kind of loosened up that waist belt. Um, and gosh, it just, it was amazing. It was so comfortable. Um, because I was able to do that, I think packs I've used previously, I would have been out of luck. 
Man. Because it would have been on my shoulders, but then the frame would have been down to my knees. So <laughs> So I packed out my my bowl was a big mature Roosevelt and I had the cape on and all that stuff. And I know how much that weighed. I can only imagine how much big old moose paddles weigh in that head and cape. So very impressed by <laughs> by that. And I want to come to Idaho and hunt wolves with you sometime. So you are more than welcome to come with us. We actually just moved to Eastern Idaho and it's teeming with wolves. So we're hoping that we can put a couple down this winter. Okay. So, so. here's the deal. I'm going to buy an over the counter tag and I'm going to be like, Kate, <laughs> yeah, what, what do you, what do you want to do? Let's, uh, let's go put the hurt no, down on No, you are more than welcome. Just get a hold of us and we're always willing to take people out. There we go. Dennis, maybe we'll have to make an initial ascent trip and, uh, you know, put it to the test. Absolutely. I like the sound of that. I love it. Hey, real quick, this, you said this pack is releasing uh, Sunday or Monday. By the time this podcast airs, it'll be the day of release. So do you have any specials that you're running or what's the price going to be on this compared to what your typical uh, pack is? And then any pack that any bag fits this frame. So your 2K, your 4K, your 6K, those all fit that frame, correct? That's correct. Yeah, it's a modular system, as you know, and uh, it uh, it you can swap out all of those. So now husband and wife teams, uh, you know, Justin and Kate, they, you know, Kate is running the the biggest bag. She's running the 6K. Justin's actually running the 4K. And I think he planned that. I I think he, he planned it that way. <laughs> but uh but yeah, you can swap them all out. Um the uh the price point is going to be basically it's going to be really easy to go to our website. You're going to have a little toggle um when you go to packs, you're going to just go to the same packs the 4k the 2k the 6k as you normally would and then you're going to have a little toggle box which you'll be able to select your frame so the male frame and we'll just call it integris or the invictus and uh, you'll be able to select that then that way when the order comes through we'll know exactly which one and uh, you'll go from there so the pricing is going to be the same on it um, and it uh yeah it's it's we're really really excited about it it's going to be it's going to be awesome we don't have any um we don't have any specials or anything introductory that uh that we've talked about yet <laughs> and here's the reason we've got a huge demand for them and so uh you know we we don't know if we're going to we're going to pull that trigger yet or not. Okay. Maybe, maybe black Friday, Christmas is coming up. Who knows? Uh, there's a, there's a possibility there. <laughs> so we're so close to that black Friday, cyber Monday thing and, and Christmas that something could happen. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. I love it. <laughs> well, I can just say from experience, I love your pack. I, there's a reason why I've wanted to have you back on this podcast multiple times and i expect to have multiple conversations and multiple episodes with you guys moving forward we awesome. listeners have heard about the brotherhood of the traveling pack is there right. gonna be a sisterhood of the traveling pack i'm pretty sure that that's gonna happen <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's gonna happen and i think i think we're gonna we're gonna have kate kind of lead that uh lead that up and and uh Oh, I, I can't wait for that. So, Kate, you're are you you're familiar with the Brotherhood? You've heard about the yes, Brotherhood. Yes, yeah. yeah. Which is it's such a cool idea. Yeah. So, so we're gonna do a similar thing uh, with the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pack, not pants. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we are gonna do a similar thing. It'll be twelve months, twelve users on twelve dif twelve different hunts. Um, not sure when we're gonna get that launched, but. Uh, it's going to be a pretty cool thing, I think. Uh, that'll be awesome. That yep. is so cool. So cool. Well, do you guys have any hunts coming up here anytime soon? Uh, you know, I know we're hitting towards the end of the season, approaching, but anything happening? Um, I'm going to try and do late archery for deer. That's December 1st through the 31st. I'll be six months pregnant, so I don't know how well I'll be getting her around in the snow on the mountains. But I'm going to try, and then 
a spring bear and we'll just hunt wolves throughout the winter. Yes. So if I get a spring bear tag, is wolf open during the spring as well? Oh, yeah. Wolf in, I think all the units around us are year round. Oh, baby, Dennis, I think uh, <laughs> the, J Mac is coming to Idaho, baby. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. We're going to bring our soulful go. status and uh, spread the love. So I love it. I, I love it. Um, Kate, I want to have you back on for an episode. Once you become a mother, or now is this your first kid that? No, we actually have a two-year-old daughter. Okay, so. perfect. <laughs> because I want to have an episode dedicated dedicated to mothers who hunt and what it's like oh, to ha- have awesome. that balance between being a, mo- a mom and the responsibilities at home, the husband, and and all that. So I'd love to have you back on for an episode. That would be awesome. I'd love to do that. Excellent. Okay, Dennis, initialascent.com. We'll go there, have the listeners go, and it is the Invictus is the the woman yep. size frame. Yep. And we'll it'll it'll be called the Invictus female frame. So there won't be any confusion there at all. And and pre-sale should uh that's gonna launch um Hope, hopefully on Sunday or Monday. So that'd be 15th or 16th um, of November. And then uh, we should start uh, shipping pretty early in in uh, December. So get it right, uh, right there for Christmas. So guys, if you have your wives that uh, or girlfriends that, uh, that hunt and they need a pack that fits them, reach out to us and get a hold of one of these because it is going to change the game for your significant other. So there are no, there are no, you know, wondering what you're going to get them for Christmas this year. (laughs) This is it. This is the idea. I got to tell you. So, (laughs) so I got my wife a vacuum for Christmas one year. You know, I was like, are you crazy? I was like, yeah, see, this is the <laughs> this is the response that everyone's like, dude, you got your wife a vacuum for Christmas? Like, that's the worst, most chauvinistic like present you could get her. She loves it. And so when I get her a, a female backpack, she's gonna love it also. And and I'm gonna get yeah. husband of the year award. It's gonna be great. <laughs> there you go. Man. The best gift you could get someone better than a puppy. Yeah, right. Pick yeah. this pack. <laughs> I love it. Well, guys, thank you so much for uh, coming on this show. I'm so honored to be able to to spread the initial ascent name. Kate, thank you so much for sharing uh, some of yours. I'm excited to have you back on, and we're going to make sure we get this scheduled. But everyone, go check out Initial Ascent. Go check out their backpacks. Um, you heard all about it. I I love it. I really enjoy their packs. I'm going to be packing out some animals here in the next couple of weeks. I got a a deer and an elk and a turkey and well multiple turkeys. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to be slinging meat all over that pack here soon and I hope that you guys will be as well. Don't get down by the state of affairs in this world right now. Remember stay positive. You can't outgive good and you always always get to create the the world around you the way you want to. Remember, life is a reflection of yourself. So what you see is what you're putting out into the world and and to always put out good. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Mac. Freedom on and stay soulful. If you enjoyed today's podcast, I'd love it if you could go ahead and give this a rating as well as subscribe. Also, you can check us out on Instagram under the Soulful Hunter podcast. Make sure to tag us in pictures and posts and use the hashtag Soulful Hunter. To find out more about the Soulful Hunter podcast, go to soulfulhunter.com and be sure to follow the podcast as we are going to be bringing you a lot of great information, insight, and changing lives through Primal Adventure. I look forward to connecting with you on the next episode. Stay tuned and stay soulful.